Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. Hey guys. Hello. What's up? Hi. We we back. But we're in a different place. But like kind of this is not really back. Place. Yeah. What is this? Just you're such a good actor. <laughs> well, we broke into someone's home. High school drama. Ah, oh, it's the phone. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to pick up anyway. Yeah, so uh, we're, I'm house-sitting for my parents uh, and dog-sitting, which is why we're in a different location. And their landline is going off right now. Because they still have a landline. <laughs> yeah, they exist. Gross. Uh, there's three dogs here, so there may be some barking. Hopefully not. But otherwise, we're just going to keep keep rolling. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Just got to keep on trucking. So, yep. uh, quick summary from the last time that we played. Uh... Josh's character, Absidy, has made a uh, deal with the devil. That's that me. has been verified by no one. Uh, hot. The only person that knows is <clears throat> Absidy. Um, Mike had a wonderful encounter with Strahd and uh, got to see his brother's ear get ripped off. Yeah, so that was super, exciting. Super, super great. It was super fun. Uh, Rufio got to be excited about getting a dream pastry from uh, Lucian. So that was an emotional train wreck. Uh, Justin basically just broke us all down in any way he could uh, last time. So, yep. Do you want a butt pillow too? No, I'm I'm good. My okay. butt is. That's what I kind of do. Enough. I build you up, and you're like, yeah, we're gonna make so it. Dark. I'm like, uh, <laughs> thanks, Buttercup. <laughs> we're gonna done. make it after all. We didn't make it though. So we and now we are still at the silver <clears throat> enclave. We're still at the Argon Boss Holt. Argon yeah. Boss Holt. We're still at Argon Boss <clears throat> Holt. We spent dragons. the night there uh, with Gray and also Gregory. Casimir. I'm trying oh. to think of the other oh, um, guy's name. Uh, Godfrey. 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 That's it. Godfrey. It's probably in my notebook that I'm not looking at. It's Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert <Actually>. Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. Um, okay, so get us back into the mindset. So at the end of that, you've all have decided to stay the night at Argenvost Holt. Kind of recollect yourselves in the morning. Uh, are any of you keeping watch during this time in the Silver Enclave? Uh, I would say I wouldn't be. I feel like with the beacon, mm -hmm. uh, we would be like, we'd be okay. We'd be all right. Okay. I'll keep an eye. Keep an eye out? Yeah. Absidy? Uh, I mean, if he's up, then okay. hold on. If he's up, I probably would just sleep. You would just sleep. Yeah. Okay. So, Shark, you're kind of up and around every hour or so, just kind of restless. You've been through a lot in yeah. the past, like, 12 hours. <clears throat> Not to say that everyone else has, but in the course of the, the month-long journey back and forth, everything's still weighing on you, so you're restless. You've yeah. been on your guard. Um first two kind of hours nothing really happens but by the fourth hour you keep going back up to the tower where you're looking at the south the east the west and the north and every once in a while you look up good but at hour four you see in the south something you hadn't seen before this giant stone tower no more than half a mile away from the compound just standing there, looming. It was not there before. I don't know what I do with this information yet. <laughs> and it's just standing there. It's a tower? It's a massive fucking tower. <clears throat> now... <sighs> I guess I want to just keep an eye on it until morning. Since Until it just kind of came out of nowhere. Okay. Because <clears throat> I don't know if I want to wake everybody up. Okay. As you do, the tower has is there. Every time you kind of look away and you're like, maybe if I look back, it'll be there. And it's still, it's still there. And then the one instance you rest your eyes, tower <sighs> dissipates. It's just gone. When you go back, it's just gone. And you look down, obviously something that big would make a mark. Yeah. Nothing. Any, what are you guys doing during the day? How, how far is it? Half a mile away. Half a mile. Wait, so did he... It's gone, he didn't tell us. Right, right. But did, did he go and look? Because you said at the base. Well, like, if you looked out 
if you trekked out, yeah, you, oh, would, okay. you wouldn't find it. <clears throat> so, guys, saw some shit while we were sleeping. While you were sleeping, I was up. <clears throat> There's, you know how uh, that windmill kind of roamed around? It was a lot closer than we were expecting it to be. Yeah. Yeah. I found a tower last night while I was walking around watching and stuff. I rest my eyes. I came back to where I saw the tower. It was like south from that top peak that we were looking at. And uh, it just, when I rest my eyes and came back, it was gone. So there might be a rogue stone tower. Pretty big. Keep our eyes on. Just saying. My kind of tower. Tower was taller than the castle that you're currently in. It's pretty big. Are you are you feeling okay? Yeah, honestly, I are feel you? better than I felt in a while. Um, except for the fact that I couldn't sleep. It's been a rough, rough patch of time. That's I mean, you couldn't you couldn't sleep. Maybe you're seeing something. Do you really like? All I'm saying is we know what happened with the windmill. So I'm just saying there might be another another thing to look out for with this tower. Do we want to take watch tonight if the tower shows up? Well, where where was it? South, about a half mile south, I would say. I mean, if it's that big, I feel like it can't just go away. Why I mean, we, it's, why don't it's we a go? lot different size than a, than a windmill. It's Yeah, it's huge. Why don't we just go there, go to where it was, see if look around, see if there's anything we can find. I mean, when I looked back at that area last night, when I woke back up, I couldn't see anything. You so. went out to where you saw no, it? No, no, from a distance. There was, like, no markings on the ground. Okay, but couldn't we... Why don't we just go look? Sure, we can. I'm just saying. That's what I saw. I'm gonna stay here and finish my eggs. You have fun with your phantom tower. All right, dirt, fine. That was Casimir. No, that was dirt. Oh, no, that was mm-hmm. dirt. Dirt's like, nah, dog. Voices. <laughs> don't it, know, it, don't dirt's a little more meek. <laughs> <clears throat> and... That sounds very peculiar. You said it was a tower. Yeah, it looked like a big stone tower, bigger than the bigger than this place. Do I know anything about a tower? Was it was it made out of stone or onyx or? It looked like stone. Stone. Was it dark or? It was roughly like this. Almost, it looked like black, like almost pewter. You could tell it was stone, but it was pewter, and you can really make out the sigils on the outside because you're so far away yeah. but it looked something possibly holy so it was it was dark stone uh-huh. but definitely stone okay and uh, there were there were sigils on the sides of it mm. but I couldn't make them out very like regal looking tower I think Shar was high <laughs> he might yeah what do you have <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I I haven't heard of a wandering tower here in Ravenloft, but I've I mean travelers come and bring stories of people running into these things. They're usually something, some kind of test. Something might be trying to reach out to you. You only saw it, or I saw it. Yeah, I didn't go near it because uh, I didn't want to abandon camp. And I know we've had a rough go, so I didn't really want to wake you guys up in the middle of the night. I figured I wanted to respect you guys and let you get rest. Splitting the parties never really worked out in our favor either. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So. That's, I mean, I don't know too much about this it. Is, I've only heard a little bit about it. This is something you've heard of, though? This is Very briefly. Not a lot of people talk about it, because most people who go in don't usually come out. Great. Kind of our MO for stuff. So the people who have come out... What have they said? Um, usually different kind of feats. Either um, I, I did hear of a group of travelers. Um, when they found one, they were transported to a realm of some kind of demon realm where they, they fought off hordes of different armies. Um, and as they went, they, they met different pantheons. It, it was very, very, very impossible. <laughs> that sounds pretty fucking fun if you ask me. I'm up for it. Whatever it is, we just need to be prepared. Are we prepared? I mean, I'm well rested. I'm not crazy anymore, so there's that. I mean, no more than usual. (laughs) Fuck you. Got him. Uh, Rufio, I need you to make a wisdom save while you're doing talking about this. I'm going to do one for Dirt as well. 
Uh, 20, ma, 21. Mod 20 and Dirk yeah. natural 20. So both of you kind of at the same time, like you Vulcan mind link and you just hear echoing in your head, just uh, praying. Uh, praying that someone help. Please, please, can someone please help me? Just, I pray to you to, to bring whoever, just warriors. We're, we're just, I don't know what to do anymore. And it just, it's more of that and it just echoes in your head. And Dirk just kind of like does that and you just hear this echoey prayer in your head. Someone praying. Anybody else hear that? Hear what? Hear what? Yeah. What? The, the praying. Yeah. That, that does that Has that happened to you before? No. I'm praying. Somebody's praying, asking for help. Five bucks, or sorry, five gold pieces says she's in the tower. <laughs> Well, it what was a male voice. It was a male voice? Yes. It was just very high. I'm not going to take a bet on that, but all right. Because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it just works out too well. Uh, <clears throat> Could you tell where the voice was coming from? No, it was just echoing. It sounds tower-like to me. You're let's really about this let's, tower. Let's go check out the tower. If anything else, it will at least make Shard happy. It's just something about erect buildings I really like. So while you it's guys are erect. talking, you're in kind of the dining room, and as you look out, where Shard like took you to the window, it was like it was right there. Nothing's there. The minute you go out, all three of you just see this giant obelisk of a tower. Do I recognize any of the markings? Are we close enough to be able to make any out? Not yet. Okay. Told that, you there was a damn tower. That cool. Is a tower. Oh, good. Do you want to come with us, Fear, or is this a what? Um, I feel because Gray is figuring stuff out, and I don't completely trust Casimir. I think I should stay here. Whatever's in there, you guys are tough. You guys will make it out fine. I mean, I not 20. according to Casimir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. Natural 20. You guys will be fine. Insight. Okay. He rolled 20 for, nat 20 for deception. He rolled you a gotta, nat 20 for yep, deception. Yep, you got to beat my uh, my nat 20 with a nat 20 insight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. No. <laughs> hey, you're going to die. <laughs> uh, he seems... Yes. I'd like to roll for persuasion. Roll persuasion. I get what you're saying, kid. All right, I get what you're saying. You Here's the thing, though. Oh. They're praying for you. They want you to come help us. So, that is mm. not the best. That is an 11. <sighs> but they're praying for you. They want your help, too, man. Uh, it's Fear. Yeah. Stay back. Thank God. I mean... No, let me come with you. Keep an eye on everything. If there's anything weird, message me. I will. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I'm just, yep. Pull, pull your mic Yeah. to your left. Yeah, there you go. Because okay. you're moving over here. Sorry. No, you're good. I just, I want to make sure it picks up. Pull the actual arm mm -hmm. physically about two inches. It's hard. Yeah, there okay. you go. That should that should cover it. All right, I'm gonna go back in and finish my eggs. Yeah, and no, we yeah. Just I, how many eggs did you have? I had like three. I'm growing. You're a strong young boy. I'm trying to be. <coughs> I'm trying. All right. Watch your I'm, okay, let's yeah. not. I'm okay. Can we can we go now? Do you it, do you have any of the potions? Um, I can. I have check. I have four right now. That's and where I, you. I don't. That's where you should be at. Because I don't think. Our, Right, I just if he has any items and he's not going to come with us. Gotcha. Um, I don't think he has any no, potions. Well, I mean, do you have anything that we can take with us to make sure we are safe? I, I mean, I have my my scale. The uh, scale of. Uh, I'd rather him hold on to his stuff. If something happens, he needs to be equipped as well. Yeah. Can you cast message as well? Mm -hmm. <gasps> I have this. It's attunement. You have to really meditate on it, but... Oh, no, I'm not going to take your your stuff. I just meant 
consumables. Oh, uh, no, I don't really have anything. <laughs> Got eggs. <laughs> Got me some eggs. Fear. Yes. Keep an eye out. You're in charge. Oh. Gray is not gonna like that, but it's gonna be funny. Gray. <laughs> Let's go. And he walks in. So the the trek isn't too treacherous. Obviously, it's it's this big clearing, and as you get closer and closer, it's just fucking ominous. It's just, you you can't fathom how large this obelisk is. Um, and as you get closer, you see different symbols. And it seems to be a, a symbol of a shield with a flaming upright sword on it. Do I know that? You can roll religion. It's never really worked out well for me, but... Here we go. Three. Uh, you do not. You're not sure who that is. Okay. Uh, I don't, I'm not familiar with this, uh, sigil. So, whatever we're walking into, we're going in blind. Can I also roll religion? Sure. <laughs> Four? Four. No idea. Mm. Mike, you want to get a, give it a go? <laughs> Twelve. It's higher. Um... You know it's a uh it it's the sigil of a god as opposed to like a demon lord or anything like that and it just you're not sure the god of what though but you do know it's good maybe To be fair it looks a little bit positive it doesn't look like real bad But it's on fire and it's a s- n- never mind L- look is there is there an op is there a door is yep. there a- there is this oak black oak door with this wrought iron handle. As you pull up to the ring and you pull it, it seems like it's a rusted door, but it just swings open as smoothly as it possibly can. Mm, that's not foreboding at all. And it's just, it's quiet. So as the three of you step in, the door closes behind you, and as you look, it seems that it seals. The door seals. And you're in this wrought stone room, and everything looks pretty bare. You'll see you see more of those symbols of that flaming upright sword. Uh, I need all of you to uh, roll Constitution saves. Fifteen. Mm-hmm. Ten. Uh, fourteen. Okay. Um, all of you, you start feeling drowsy and woozy. You're kind of back and forth trunk swaying absidy because you slightly got higher you hear as you're starting to lose consciousness a a very low voice go oh sorry (laughs) so moments pass and rufio you hear birds chirping not crows calling and as you come to consciousness you feel the hot heat of the sun on your face and you slowly open your eyes and you are in this clearing and you see close to you shark kind of just face down ass up (laughs) and you see uh absidy just kind of like dead family guy fall where his like arm and his leg is you just you all slowly come to consciousness and you're not in barovia How did we get here? I don't know. I just I fell asleep. I don't know. The, it's nice. The the sun's out. This is the first time I've seen the sun. Oh, you're right. I missed that. Seeing everyone in actual sunlight, you realize it's been months. How pale you all look in comparison to how when you first got there, and just how sunken in everything has been. And you look disgusting. <laughs> you look dumb. But that, that has nothing to do with this. Got him. Still I push him. <laughs> Go ahead and roll an attack. I'm still pretty green. Roll a strength check. See if you can shove him. Uh, 17. Ugh. 13. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Got him. <laughs> Got he. Uh, as you do that, you're as you're looking around, you notice this is a little bit of a, a camp. It just looks like there's like a log, there's a little tent... And as you guys are having this interaction, this 20-year-old kid kind of comes up, darker skin, complexion, and 
he just where do you I just went in for a quick what you hi how are you uh, hello hey hi hi you... what's your name Diego oh okay what uh, I'm, I'm sorry I'm very sorry I'm very confused I was just literally out here and I I think I would have seen you are you magic did you teleport here what's, what's what is this <laughs> maybe we were in a tower and now we're here. We just kind of fell asleep and someone said sorry. Someone said sorry? Someone said sorry. You didn't hear that? No. no. Yeah, someone with like a deep booming voice just said, oh, sorry. That was really good. Thanks. I'm working on it. I'm going to start a one-man show. So, you're adventurers. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Where are you heading out from? It's been a really long time since I've, you know, I've seen someone here outside of the town, and he just kind of sits and he's poking at a pot that's in the camp. What, what town are we outside of? We're outside of Locke. Locke. You know Locke. what Locke is. Locke is, um, your dad, when he was a young boy, there was a group of adventurers that came to this town. It was mostly a war town, uh, and they were able to defend it uh, from this uh, brutal king. He's been known as the Savage King, basically a man who be who stripped power from a god and became a god. And up to these like three weird adventurers, they were able to take down this giant pantheon. And Locke was where the battle took place. It got eviscerated, and slowly but surely, over the po- past forty years or so, it's been able to be rebuilt. We're you've in ne- Locke. You've never been to Locke, but you've heard of it. Yes, you you've you're on right outside of Locke. Wait, is... Do you, do you know Locke? Do we, wait, do we all know? No. Or you, just you don't know from that because you're not part of that region and... Okay. You, you don't particularly know of Locke. You might know about the battle of it, but you haven't really heard... You heard that there was a town that got eviscerated mm-hmm. and got rebuilt, if anything, by this brutal king. But you didn't know... It, stories all by right. word of mouth. Okay. Uh, yeah. My, my father, when he was younger than me uh, fought in a battle in Locke. I've never I've never been here, but I've heard of it many times. Your dad was, oh, he, he probably heard about the Dragon Wars. That would have been happening when he was a child. Which you would have, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He would have known about the Dragon Wars. I mean, he didn't talk much about it. I was young uh, when I lost him, but I remember stories a lot from him and my uncle yeah well things have been a lot different since those other adventurers came I don't Uh, know if you've noticed but and he points up at the sky and you look up and there because where all of you are from there are two suns but as you look up there's only one oh so excuse we've been in Barovia for like I don't know what that is three months it's been like three months right I'd say about three or four yeah it's, we've been in Barovia for a while uh, there's no sun there we're one short right we are we yeah. are why there was there was something else that happened here not too long ago maybe about a month or so ago there was another group of adventurers oh, maybe you shouldn't go to Locke another group of adventurers they brought this this thing thing to uh to the citadel that's over to the east and basically the pantheon of Pelor just left and the sun went out wait an entire pantheon just vanished Pelor brings the sun well that's right up your alley maybe you shouldn't go to Locke what kind of adventurers are you the best. I like to fight stuff. <sighs> My father worshipped Pelor. Oh, well. Must have been a very noble man, then. I've just... I've been just praying that I could be brought adventurers because there's... We have not been defended. That was you? What? You... What were you saying exactly? I was just... I was praying for anyone to to come and help my city. Yeah, that's us. I heard that. 
great. Awesome. Okay. Diego, how old are you? 22. Can you do anything? <laughs> I make a mean quiche, if that's what you mean. <laughs> you don't have any, like, abilities with a sword or an axe or... No, I, I mean, I can certainly try. I just, I'm more of a, I'm more of a clergyman. So you can heal. I'd, I'm no cleric. Heal-ish? How's that quiche? <laughs> oh, it's it's delightful. I put peppers in it and sometimes spinach, and it's it's really nice. Hey, vegetables lost me. All right, never mind. Are we gonna go get the sun back for these people? No. Oh, we. It's not the sun. We we have been prone to attack for quite some time. We have. Uh, uh, what's your experience with goblins? Very little. We have been finding goblins coming in and trying to steal and take and. They keep saying that there's going to be this army that's coming. Don't you? You know anything about go goblins? Goblins? Racist. Huh? Nothing. What? The goblins are racist? No. <laughs> I'm racist? I mean, no, I didn't say it. nothing. I mean, I don't know much about goblins, but I do know a lot about stealing. <clears throat> so, I mean, maybe we can at least stop all the theft from the goblins. Okay, if anything, um... You've been to Locke, though, yes? Uh, no, I've, I've heard of, of Locke. Okay, um, I... I'm going to stay here, because I don't think I can get over the mountain again. That is probably for the best. Okay, uh, I'm going to... And he points to about the east. And, uh, he says, you're gonna go down there. It's a very, 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 very high cliff. There's usually a walkway, but you might have to climb down it a little bit. It's a little treacherous. Um, try not to kill anything and try not to die. Wait, try not to kill anything. Why are we going to not kill things? It's complicated. Go on. Do tell. Uh, they're trying a new weapon. What do you know about um, beasts and monsters? Dragons, things that fight dragons. Eh? I, I haven't seen it. I've heard it. I don't know if it's hungry yet. Um, but there's usually a Bahir that guards the cliff. You can all roll a history to see if you know what a Bahir is. Not good. Seven. Nine. Four. Rufio. Combined. Being <laughs> in school, when you got to dragons, you got super pumped about dragons because you're like, they're dope. Yeah. But when they started talking about other creatures that weren't dragons, you just started hearing Charlie Brown. Yeah. You're just like, wah, 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 wah. So you might have heard something about them, but nothing that you can really recollect and kind of construct in your head. Just for my own sanity, uh, real quick, Diego, how far out of Greyhawk are we? Greyhawk? Huh. Greyhawk's quite a ways away. Closer than I've been in a long time. Uh, okay. Uh, be here, be here. Uh, are they smart-ish? I don't know. I've never run into one, and well, I don't really want to. Only one way to find out. Oh, good. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I'll. I guess if we're gonna do this. We might as well just get going. Yeah. Right. Do you have anything that can help us in our travels? Oh, I don't have any quiche. I just ate it. Um. <laughs> No. Mm. I've got pots and pans. I'll take one. But I need those. <laughs> Fine. Why do you I always won't... try to take stuff from people? I'm not, I'm asking. If I was taking it, I would just take it like this. And then i go and take it. Okay. What would that sleight of hand is? is I, I always forget. Plus what? Uh, sleight of hand. Uh, well, you, sleight of hand is a thing. It's a uh, skill. Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, 24. You just kind of snatch it out of his hand. <laughs> See, I would do that. I just... You can have it back. Thank you. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> See it, dweeb. <clears throat> I, good luck. I, why would he send me these people? As you go off into the distance. Why would who send you these people? The My god. Pelor? Just, just, can we... No, I, not Pelor. What? Sorry. No, you're fine. 
Well, God, <laughs> worship. I, I was praying. I well, I don't worship him, but I was praying because there's a war coming. I was praying to the one of the gods of war, any one of them. One with like a shield and a sword and is on fire. There are a few of them. Um, that sounds like the the symbol of Tempest. That's. I I just I just know he's a god of war. All right. Well, it's good enough for me. Okay. I'm gonna uh, before we go over. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, kneel down real quick, mm -hmm. and I'll look at Diego, and I'll be like, "You should just start praying to Hor, just so you know." And I'll do a. I'll try and and get to Hor and see if there's any if, if I get any if there's anything. any static. Yeah. Um. It's pretty sharp as it comes in. You hear what? Uh, what do you know about this Tempest guy? Tempest? Yeah. <clears throat> kind of a bitch. I feel like you say that about a lot of people. Well, I'm me. I'm in lock. I'm outside of lock. Yeah, you're coming in pretty, pretty clear. What? You're not in Ravenloft. I, we walked into this tower, and now I'm... Son of a bitch, he made a tower! Who, what is... Can I... Fill me in here, what's going on? You're sent here for some kind of task. I don't know what, because you went in and you just accepted it unwillingly, because you went in the fucking tower. Now, blame Shart. I don't know who that is. That's the dumb one. What, the half-orc? Yeah. I mean... Shiny something, uh, I'm not surprised. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> uh, Alright, so how do we get back? I don't know. That's a great question. Are you are you around? Is this is this where you live? No, it's just easier to talk to you from the material plane. Alright. Any pointers, tips? What about a what is it called? A, beh a behalter? Beh a behir? A behir. What, a, what do you know about behirs? <laughs> Why? Because we're about to see one. <laughs> Don't try to piss it off. Oh, man. All right. Thank you. It's quiet. And you're just kind of talking to yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, bitch? <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> so, after that weird interaction of you guys just looking at Rufio, and he's eyes open, and he's just kind of talking, and answering and receiving, like, it's like he's having a conversation with someone. Completely normal. Uh, let's not piss this thing off. What? What did you just do? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Uh, so, I'll start walking. So, right. as you guys are trekking, it's just... Your spirits of just being fucking pummeled constantly in Ravenloft, they're starting to get kind of up. You're like, holy shit, that's green. And wow, the bark is on that tree is like amazing. That's and still a color? What? Hey, look, dude, you're not hanging from that one. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Uh, yeah, and you're just seeing different animals. You're seeing like deer you in the I distance. I can't hear you. My ear's still attached to my head. What? Oh, that was fucking cold. <laughs> oh, bloody. That's I like the devil. <laughs> Hail Satan. Am I right, my dudes? Uh, as you get to the distance and you get to the cliff edge side, you see deep into the cavern of this cliff, you see a very small town. Well, and this cliff side is just, it's... Do we see the bridge? Very high. Do you no see the bridge? bridge. No you bridge. see like a very crude walkway, but it is on the other side of the cliff. Mm. Maybe someone in the town can... Give us passage. Show us the ropes. The town is very, very, very inside. So yeah, the pathway. Oh, is I, I thought it was no, like no, no. at the we base. Like, it's like a meteorite. Yeah, and you're like in. Oh, this it's is in a, a cavern. This is lock, or this is lock. Yeah. Oh. Or of what you would assume, you would know that it's in know a that cavern. Yeah. So, that's oh. lock. So yes. how how do we get there? We go down. Yep, the only way is down. Which means we gotta walk to the other side. He figured it out. We, come on. I mean, you're the one who knows about it. I was hoping you knew something so better the, than just the other walking side. Down. It's gonna take a few days to get over to the other side of the cavern. I don't know if we have that kind of time. 
Do you know any eagles? Does anyone have any repelling equipment? I don't know any eagles or have repelling equipment. We're just going to climb down. How, how do you plan to climb down? With my hands? It's not like a smooth cliffside. It's you can. It's like it's, you can rock climbing. But down. how? Climbing down. But like how far? Oh, it's far. it's fairly. I I can't think of it in like feet, but it's it's gonna get. It's gonna take at least if you're just going straight down. It would take at least a forty minute with no breaks. I mean, we can try. I'm just saying, rock climbing's hard, and I'm a little guy. I mean, I think what we need to do. I have rope. We'll tie each other off. Tie everybody to Shart. He's the strongest. And just start going down, making our way down, slowly. So you guys go first, and then I follow up. Uh, that I th- way, if I you th- guys trip or something, we I can anchor you guys up to where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got some daggers we can use to uh, clamp it to the side. Uh, if it gets through the wall of the rocks. Uh, roll uh, investigation for me, guys. Ooh, it's actually not bad. Eight. Eight. Four. Four. Hold on. Chart. Eighteen. As you guys are looking, you're a mountain man. You're a mountain man. Yep. You're looking, you're like, that's a good vantage point. Well, you know, if we need to take a break, we can kind of just crouch there for a little bit. You see different kind of like platforms you can kind yeah, of go like off. Of. So you're kind of mapping in your head how you can go out. It'll probably take a little bit longer, maybe about, it'll add an extra 20 minutes, but you won't be start like. taking armor off. Okay. So. Don't worry, guys. Uh, it's not my first time trying to go down a mountain. I think I got a plan on how we can do this. Shard has a plan. Okay. I'm going to hop on your back. It'll be easier if you don't. You say that, <laughs> but I think you're wrong. I'm a little guy. Great. <laughs> uh, so, as you get situated, uh, Rufi, are you going armorless? Yeah. Okay. So, take your armor off. Um, any kind of weapons just clip to your sides. Yep. Um, I need all of you to make, uh, well, are you going by yourself or you're on him? I'm on his back. Okay. So like shoulders, you two make strength checks. Uh, Absidy, you don't have to do anything yet. <clears throat> so this is basically going down to the first platform. What'd uh, you get? Seven. Oh, 18. Wait, okay. Se- with your modifier. Well, it's not a save. So uh, it's just a, sa- a it's save. Just oh, strength. it's a roll a plus is, your strength, right? Correct. Yeah. Save is plus eight, minus plus five regularly. So you, you got rolled a, two? a three. I rolled a two. Oh, a two. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I have eighteen. So I did not do well here. As you're going, it's not a one. <laughs> it's definitely not a one. You'd be dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, eh. So Rufio, as you're kind of climbing, you're like, all right, getting kind of the hang of this. You're looking at Chart, and he's just like. Yeah, I got this. And he just kind of missteps, and you guys fall to the first kind of platform. So you cut your travel time by 20 minutes. Well, did he come with me? Or can I do an forward? acrobatics jump? You can do a deck save to see if you can jump off him, but it'll be a strength save to grab onto the rock. So, yeah, risk it. Yeah, might as well. You got Is that deck, 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 deck save, save to and, jump off, and then, and then a strength save? Uh, 15. 15, you're able to jump off his shoulders, and as you're starting to slip and fall, you just see Absidy go, Hup! And you're like, Dang! <laughs> now you have okay. to make the strength to hold on, right? Uh, okay. I'd like yep. to go ahead and grab him by the leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. Two. Okay. So, It'd be a modded 20 on strength. <laughs> so as you... No, you're good. This is for him to grab onto the <laughs> no, wall. No, I was trying to grab his leg. <laughs> It's, that would also it's not going to work. It's okay. <laughs> you jump off, and as you start swiping, you just see Absidy just immediately not grab onto the end, <laughs> and he just starts tumbling with you. You guys take 11 points of fall damage. Okay, good course. And you just, you're just looking at Shart, and then you just see Shart, Absidy go, ah, that. and you're just like, Diego must be so impressed. I'm glad Diego's not here. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing for 20 minutes while while Rufio's slowly and cautiously making his way down to the first platform? <coughs> I'm gonna take a short rest. <laughs> short rest for 30 minutes. Uh, well, I'll take the extra 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna hang out, kind of soak in. Soak oh, in yeah. the. It's just it's beautiful. Even with the one sun, it's jarring. 
but it's not as hot as it usually is. And it's looking at it, you can determine it's probably about like midday, maybe one or two. And it's just, it's, it's beautiful. Um, when I get down, mm -hmm. I'm going to, uh, cast, <laughs> oh no, it's not going to make a difference. It's for attacking, uh, saves. I was going to use bless, but it's not going to matter. No guidance you're thinking of. Yeah, I don't have that. Okay. Uh, smooth move. Shit happens. Yeah, smooth move. <laughs> Are okay. we? We next going? platform? Yeah, next yeah. platform down that way. That's where we're heading. Go ahead and roll uh, perceptions for me. Ugh. Five. Eight. Seven. You're fine. <laughs> cool. Okay. Go to this. Uh, everyone roll your... If you're not jumping on someone's back, I need all of you to roll strength checks. I'm sticking on your back. I have a negative one. Okay. There we go. Nineteen. Five. Okay. Um, shark, you kind of gain your bearings, and you're like, all right, I underestimated the mountain, the cliffside. And you're slowly going, and Rufio's just like, I'm just saying, I took my time, I was able to get down fine, and as he reaches down, he isn't looking down where he's stepping, and you just see, Foom! You take five points of bludgeoning damage on your way down to the platform. Cool. As you're like, shit! Poof! Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Never claimed to be a mountain man. You okay? Those, those are your words. I'll be all right. <laughs> and then, because you have your mountain experience, it takes you about ten minutes to get down to the yeah. second platform. So you're at the third one. Uh, Everyone, roll perception for me. Them, I'm gonna pump the five lay on hands into myself. That's a good idea. Yeah, thanks. Let me just turn this page just in case. Okay, cool. Okay, roll perceptions. Eleven. Mm -hmm. Three. Uh, eleven. Eleven? Yeah. You guys are fine. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, next platform. Got my back again, boy. Yep. Uh, nineteen. Fif uh, fifteen. Okay, so you guys are both able to, to get on there pretty solidly. And as you're climbing down, um... Uh, I need you guys to make... Oh, fuck. What is it? Uh, each of you need to make deck saving throws. That's not the best. My 21. 19. 16. Okay. Could have been worse. Uh, 21, 19, 16? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys are fucking lucky. Okay. <laughs> As you're going down this giant mass of lightning energy just shoots to the side of the, the mountain and you see rocks start to crumble as you are scaling down this mountain. And as you look to the left where the origin was, you see climbing on the side of this stone face is uh, this very elongated, almost serpentine kind of beast. Uh, it's scaly in nature. It's reptilian. Definitely not as big as a dragon, but it's monstrous in size. And it, all along it, like a centipede, has different arms grabbing onto the side of the rock as it looks at you. And you see it. And it breathes in again. No, 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 no. And it, you see it. You're saying that in common, right? Yeah. I can't speak to animals. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and cast. Done. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and what are you? Uh, hey, we, we're not here to harm anything. As he's saying this, you're noticing that Shart's speaking draconic. <sighs> we're not. We're not here to harm anything. Intruders. We don't know how we got here. We swear. Why are you scaling my cliffside? We just wanted to see the town. What do you need with the town? We don't know. You're, you're hearing this whole yeah. conversation, and it's just sliding up a little bit closer. It's scuttering. I'm Rufio of House Payne. Haven't heard of it. Well, I'm from Greyhawk. My father fought in Lock. We were sent here by Tempest. Haven't heard of them. He's a god. <laughs> and we're here to help. There's apparently a, a goblin problem. I've ate a few of those. Well, Hungry. Not with the goblins. 
No. You can roll persuasion to persuade him to think otherwise. That we're not. This with is the all. Goblins? This yeah. is all in draconic, right? Yes. Okay. And only speaks draconic. Spoiler alert, guys, I know draconic now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, twenty-two. <sighs> Last adventurers that came killed my brother. I should just swallow you whole. We're not here for that. We're here, and I'll point to my my whore mm. symbol. This is my god. He is a god of vengeance. We'll avenge your brother. Well, you have to find the bird, the girl, and the stinky one, then. Bird, girl, stinky one? So, what is he saying? <laughs> gotta find a bird, gotta find a girl, gotta find someone that stinks. Okay, so we have you. <laughs> That's already here, numbnuts. You're here. I don't see the problem. Well, do you do you know where they are? Do you have a lead? Any ideas? Point us in a direction. I haven't seen them around. What what's your name? Don't have a name. Well, we will avenge your brother. You have my word. Roll another persuasion. Oh boy. Uh, 18. <laughs> Stay clear of my cave. And you see it slither back, and you see it go to. There's this cave that it slides into on the about the fourth platform. Okay, so we don't go there anymore. I guess we're not resting there. <laughs> So he doesn't want us to follow him? <laughs> no. He said stay away from the platform. Hmm. His, his cave. Okay. So I think that's the thing that Diego warned us about. <laughs> oh, that's a Bahir? Oh, that's a Bahir. Oh. Do you want to know how much the lightning damage does? Yes. Do you really want to so know? So did we avoid yeah. all of it? I mean, you're you guys. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 12d10. Oh, my. Thanks, RN Jesus. <laughs> He's in the... Th no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, as you collectively, your penises come out of your bodies now. As you slowly climb back down, you're on what? Third platform? Third platform. So, you start making your way down to the fourth platform cautiously if you're doing that. Or stealthily. I don't know what you're doing. Well, that's his platform, right? Cautiously. He just said, don't go in my cave. So well, he said, stay away, from my stay away from my cave. Yeah. Oh, so we can still use the platform? We just you can can't. try. Let's, I mean, mm -hmm. or we could just jump to the fifth. It's, it's I think further, that would be right? Smarter, yeah. It would just be a jump to the fifth. Not, not, not literally jump, but skip the fourth and go to the fifth. I don't know okay. what the layout's like. Okay. Yeah. Shard, is that possible? I mean, it, you I'm going to avoid. It. I'm going to avoid the the fourth platform at all. Yeah, it didn't seem wise. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll strength saves. Oh, saves. Or I'm sorry, strength checks. Oh, damn. You had to say something. No, Mike. 17. 12. Okay. It gives... It, you slip a little bit, but you're able to still grab on. I need you to... You're like eye to eye with the fourth platform. And the, the cave is pretty far off, but you still see that opening. and It's foreboding. Uh, so if you're going to keep going without stopping, uh, I'll have you roll another strength save. Or strength, strength check. Strength check. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. Twenty-four. What'd you got? Natural one. Okay. So, uh, you're at the fourth one, and there are five. Yeah, we're going oh. to the fifth. Right so, now. so I just go to the ground. <laughs> cool. Give me the. Give you my new player's handbook. Thanks, Josh. <sighs> Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, so, as you're going down, Rufio's arms start quivering because you guys didn't take a break, and he just shoots down. Uh, Pat, you take... What was it again? I'm sorry. 
a natural 24 one. points of fall damage as you just fall straight to the fucking ground and like wily e. coyote and you just see and you save yourself another 20 minutes uh in that time i'm going to take a short rest like, i didn't actually take uh, one earlier so. <laughs> well i'm gonna take a short rest i'm gonna roll some hit die <laughs> uh slowly but surely you you come upon this town. There is a walkway that goes into the um, the center of the town. It looks like there's a town square, different buildings. You see people kind of like walking back and forth. Lots of hesitancy. Everyone kind of seems a little bit tense on the outside as you're slowly approaching this area, this new area. Doing anything in the meantime? Um... I don't know about you guys, but I think one of the things we should do is probably try and see if they got any healing potions anywhere in here. Yeah, let's let's stock up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you good? So as you come in, you're coming in, I believe, from the north. Uh, different kind of cobblestone uh, walkways. Everyone's just kind of eyeing you up and down. Um, I wouldn't say they're standoffish, but they they definitely keep to themselves as you travel through. Leary. Leary, yes. Uh, you go a little bit further south, and you see this giant kind of like stage auditorium where there's a divot in the middle. It looks like a build-up kind of stage, uh, like a circle theater kind of thing. Yeah. Um, past that, there are a few different shops. There's one that has a uh, blacksmith's tools on it, but it does look like it says clothes on it. Uh, there's another one that has kind of a diamond on it, but there's another closed sign, unfortunately. Um, as you start making your way a little bit towards west, you uh, you do see that there is this inn um, that you can go into. Uh, to the west, there is a, it looks like this very old, abandoned kind of mansion. And a little bit further south, it looks like it's just remains of a house. So you have some options to the west. I mean, inns have treated us pretty well in the past. <clears throat> yeah, we could start there. I could go for a drink. It's a good place for information. Let's go. All right. So as you go in, this inn is very quaint, rich kind of woods, and there's a big hearth. There's a massive dragon's head that's kind of open that has fire in the mouth of it. Uh, and as you go in, you see this, there's this half orc behind the, uh, the counter and his hair is just dreaded in different kinds of, uh, hair colors. It's this big, wild kind of chunky mane. And he kind of just sits there and he's wearing these tight kind of fit clothings. Uh, and he looks up and he goes, yeah, I'm, I'm Sean. Go ahead and roll persuasion. I kinked a little. Oh, okay. Um, that wasn't kinked. What kinked to me? Eighteen. Says in half orc. That's a weird fucking name. It uh, just born with it. Who raised you? Your human side? Uh, wolves, honestly. And you came up with Sean? I, uh, they're dire wolves. I don't know what they do. This is how did you get Sean? Um, I don't know what's happening, but his name is Shart. <laughs> yeah, that seems more likely. Did you come up with your name when you were five? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna help you boys with. We're uh we were brought here to help you with your goblin problem. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you guys look super tough. Thanks. Yeah. Pull. You see him pull kind of like the bar, uh, and he puts three glasses of ale out in front of you. <laughs> Goblins aren't that tough. You know that, right? Yeah. So, thanks for coming, but uh, we, we kind of have enough dealing with adventurers for one few months. What? You mean because of the sun? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you noticed. No, we, we we did. We talked to Diego, and he was very... I don't. Okay. Yeah. He's a friend. All right, so, uh, yeah, get out. Why'd you just give us drinks, then? Uh, 
it's it's southern hospitality. So we take it and go? Yeah. Do you need money? Nah. Okay then. I take the drink and I walk out. Uh if you roll roll investigation on him. Ten. Twelve. Five. Um Shart, as you're looking at him, you see kind of like tattooed under his clothing, you see a giant bird kind of just peeking out of the uh of where the V neck kinda is, but it's a it's a tribal kind of like tattoo. As he just he sits there and he goes I hate to be frank, it's just, um, each time we let you adventurers come in, I don't know, the sun fucking comes out, and, you know, things that protect us get killed, it's just, it's, we don't have a good track record here. It's Locke. So the last time adventurers came in, they killed a Bahir? No, that was like 40 years ago. No, last time adventurers came here, they brought this demon spawn out of fucking nowhere, brought it to the citadel out there, and took out the fucking sun. Jesus. Demon spawn. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Where is that exactly? That's, uh, back up the cliff. It's towards the citadel. It's by the mountains. Back up. Is there an easier way to get back up the cliff? I mean, you could go up the walkway. Yeah, I like that. We should do that. I walk back in. I finished. Can I have another? Okay, now you're going to have to call. I'll... I will give you. you I will give you money. Takes it, pulls are you, it. Are you drunk, Absidy? <laughs> I am a little buzzed. Roll a con save. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. You're a little buzzed. You're just feeling it, man. It's just. It's, it's lo- nice. Love and life, man. It's love and life. Yeah. There's nothing there in the citadel. The demon spawn isn't there anymore. Not that I've heard of. No one goes up there anymore. Nothing there. Ever since the the uh, Avatar left, that's why the sun went out. What's the Avatar? Gods sometimes choose a certain individual where they just bestow all of their power into. Like where you have like a paladin, I'm assuming from the fucking ostentatious wear, that you get some kind of gift or ability. This person is an w- instrument of a god. There's uh, there's one in the Iron Capital. Uh, Caleb's been with us for shit. I remember him when I was training. Caleb. Yeah. Who's Caleb? He was, he was something. Was. <sighs> Disappeared. And no one knows where he went. Well, originally he was always a fucking statue. I was able to see him, but. Not after that. Sun went out. His statue's gone. And they're fucking in the stone. It's not like they can fucking move. Besides, he's been a Jaeger since he was a little kid. I doubt he'd leave without saying bye if he could. So if he just walked up and left, I'm pretty sure it's not by his choice. Whatever those adventurers did, they fucked up some juju, dude. Do you know where they are? Do you know where they went? I have no idea. Do you know anyone that would? I mean, not really. It's just me. Everyone left. They're going off to fight some big fucking war in Chesex. Chesex, you would know, is this big giant war capital that rests by the desert. We're uh, we're in a tough spot here, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of leads. I, um... Let me let me send a message. I'll see if I can find out any information. You're, um, you don't even know where you are. <clears throat> yeah, I but I know how to make some contacts. So my my background has a feature where I can send for the the mm-hmm. criminal spy. Yeah. Um, I have a reliable and trustworthy contact who acts as my li- liaison as a network of other criminals. So I just want to send a message to him. Okay, it would be like through post. Uh, so it's not going to be you thieves camp. I could thieves can. If there were thieves in the... You can. I mean, you could put, like, a symbol, and then you could be like, we meet at midnight. Yeah, what time is it now? I would say it's maybe, like, three. three okay. Or four. Um, yeah, so I'm still going to go outside. Okay. And see 
in the town square, mm-hmm. just on on some wall, just kind of okay. scratch a symbol, a thieves okay. can't symbol. The, and is that where are you putting anything in it? Because the thieves can't is like it's just weird things that don't really make sense, but obviously you know what it means. Like right. we're gonna meet here or meet me at the amphitheater at like eight p.m. Yeah, that's actually what I was gonna looking say. Looking for a friend. Yeah, at the amphitheater, let's do ten, so it's dark. Oh, okay. Okay. And then that gives us time. So I relay that to them, mm-hmm. and then uh, that gives us time to search around. And if we don't find anything by ten, maybe we have a new lead. What's your name? Fennec. I appreciate the hospitality. Thank you very much for the ale. <laughs> no problem. I'll take another. And uh, I mean, any- brother, if you want to stick around and fight some fucking goblins, I mean, either we're getting eviscerated, or uh, I mean, I fought goblin hordes in my day, but. We keep getting these little fuckers in, and whenever we try to get information, they keep saying thousands are coming. So we're going to have to prep for that. And unfortunately, the rest of the fucking Jaegers are in Chessex. There's just me, and then there's the other two. Who are the other two? Uh, there's, uh... Pull her up. I always forget. They're new trainees. Uh, there's a dwarf, and then there's, uh, there's the girl. Um, shit. There's uh, Thema. That's her name, Thema. And then there's uh, Kadok, dwarf. He doesn't happen to smell a little bit, does he? No. Okay. Just Why are you asking? We're supposed to look for a bird, a girl, and a stinky one. <laughs> what? What? Okay. That's what the Bahir said. A bird that did. Did the Bahir mention how long ago that these people were here? No. I don't know, man. But hey. You might be the bird. Let's see what you got going on here. <laughs> no. Definitely not the bird. Alright. <laughs> What's going on here? I don't... What? Oh my god. He's got a tattoo on his chest. So his chest is the bird? A, t- a tattoo of a fucking bird. So his chest is the bird. Okay, we found it. God, you guys... Uh, Let's go back to the What's the, what's the dwarf's name? Uh, Kadok. You know what? No one's fucking here. Let's take a walk. You guys are tough adventurers, right? Allegedly. That's what they say. Yeah. Big strong man. You want to go? I can check this mail down real quick. I'm yeah, let's do it. I'm going to look around. Like, what do the people look like in the town? Like, what's the... They look like simple kind of folk, like different kind of farm hands. So like we, like, stick folk. out, right? Oh, you stick out like a sore fucking I'm going to cast thumb. Mask of Many Faces and try okay. and blend a little bit. Okay. You blend in. You kind of have, like, commoner's clothes. You don't have your chiseled jaw and, and your whatnot. You... Scars and... Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to cast Mask of Many Faces. Okay. And, and try and, like... And, like, even just, like, lay behind them a little bit. Like, just kind of... Okay. So you see Fennec kind of like stretch out and uh, he goes, all right, this is behind here. And you see, hear him like stomp his foot as this door slat kind of opens on the bottom. And as you walk down, you see this, this big kind of sand fighting pit. This is where we train the new hires. Oh, and you kept saying training. What kind of training are we talking about? You don't know about the Chimera. No. The Jaeger is the Chimera. <laughs> We're not from here, man. Uh, Ruf- Rufio, you know of the Jaegers. Yeah. The Jaegers are a... They're kind of mercenaries for hire. Uh, your dad and Duke have told you stories about the Jaegers. There's usually four of them. Uh, three of them, they all wear different animal symbols uh, to show different ranks of their jobs. So, like, a lion is usually, like, the tank. They're ready to fucking party. Yeah. There's a ram's head. They usually focus more on shielding and uh, protection. And then they're eagles who uh, kind of get intel around. And they try to figure out what's something's weakness and what's, uh, you know, a good vantage point. Things like they're tacticians. Mm. The fourth one, Duke only has heard about them. He's never seen them, but they're serpents. They resemble a chimera. A chimera is a four-legged beast with three heads and the tail of a serpent. You've heard about the serpents. You've never seen them. You hear they're mostly espionage and they do assassin. They're assassins. Serpent, lion, ram, and eagle. So you're one of the Jaegers? Yeah, I'm a Jaeger. And you guys couldn't stop the sun from being put out? Aren't you supposed to be the intel guy? I'm the intel guy? 
Or isn't that what that, makes you say that? The, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah. Yeah, because if I had anything else on me, that would tell you I'd be with like if I had a cat, that mean I'd be a giant pussy, right? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. No. <coughs> also, hey, but but I yeah. wasn't in the Citadel. So how am I supposed to stop something that? I'm aren't, not there for. Aren't you supposed to know? Aren't you the intel guy? I'm it? not the intel guy. Dude, he's a half-orc like me. You're you not, really think he knows a whole lot of what's going on? Not all I, I, half-orcs Okay, are shut the fuck up <laughs> over there. I, I, it's internalized racism. Shut, I don't know what you know about these guys, but he knows more than he's letting on. Uh, I mean, he's from here, so he probably knows something, but half-orcs are fighters, man. It's not always true. Oh no, I'm a fighter. I was gonna say, the guy's built like a brick shit house. Oh, uh, I don't know if you've noticed my mane. I have. This is not my hair. Gross. <laughs> this, you might know this. These are trophies of every single person that's fallen to me. And it's a bit, it's like a fucking headdress. I don't fall. Now, Whatever this thing was, there's a war fucking coming. And despite us being vulnerable, all of my comrades are in Cheswick trying to fight. I was asked to stay back here because this is my home. I'm going to protect it. I'm going to make sure the Jaegers are still around. Now you want to do some fucking good? Stay here, I guess. We'll fight the fucking goblins. But if there's anything... Anything that you do wrong, you don't tie your fucking shoes right. I'm gonna take each and any, every one of you out. Guarantee. Respect that. So you're. Are we Jaegers now? No. Oh, you didn't go through the fucking trials. You're not Jaegers. Can we go through the trials? Oh, that is a process. And I ain't got the time or the resources. Hmm. How would we get the resources? <laughs> when everyone else comes back from fucking war, we can maybe have a discussion about it. So after the war. Okay. What's that seems fair. Fennec, what's the plan? What's the play? <sighs> well, I don't know if you fucking saw. It's a giant cliff. Yeah, no, I saw the cliff. Yeah. Luckily, we got a newbie here. We have that brother up there. Been training him. Try to keep that clear. It'd be a huge vantage point. Yeah. That was, uh, that lightning was not appreciated. <laughs> yeah, he just gets cranky. What can we do? <sighs> what, it's you, me, that's four. The other two, that's six. We could try to get all the men and try to arm them as best we can. Feels Be like it. sending sheep to the slaughter, doesn't it? Yeah, well. <sighs> Can't really do nothing. The more numbers we have, it's a lot better. How do we get in touch with Thelma and, and Kadok? They're around here somewhere. They're around in the Thelma. town. Are they going to rendezvous over here? That yeah, I'm sure they'll point. fucking wander their way back over. I mean, it's, what, midday? I just... <sighs> Very frustrating. What? You just noticed the sun going out? We haven't been here. Yeah. It's been two months. We haven't been here for a while. Where where were you? Underdark? Uh, Have you ever heard of uh ever heard of Barovia? No. That's where we were. They don't even have a son. <laughs> that sounds dismal. No fucking idea. How'd you get here? So shit you not. Yeah? It's tower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're shot up out of fucking nowhere. Tower. Yeah. Tower had this uh, sigil. What was it? You said a sword? Yeah, it was a flaming sword and a Fla shield. Flaming sword and a shield. I haven't heard of that. It didn't have ravens on it? It was Tempest. Tempest? Tempest. Oh, shit. Yeah. He so, brought us here. Yeah, he we walked into that tower, passed out. He said he heard someone say, sorry, but it was like, sorry. Yeah, like, sorry. He had an accent, too. I'm not really Absolutely. interested You're in that. You're getting better at that. Thanks. <laughs> really good. That not really interested in that. I'm more, I'm more interested in the fact that, one, you went into a tower. You said it didn't have ravens on it. Right? Why is that shocking? 
because there's usually a tower around here that comes out every like quarter of a season usually adventurers go in and they train and it goes into the shadow fell for the raven queen oh so it wasn't that there are no ravens on it and it, was, and it was tempest uh I'll, I'll just i'll be right back you guys do your thing okay bye i'll start praying to the raven queen as you pray to the raven queen you don't hear anything Keep on praying. It'll happen. You can you can roll like a religion check. Yeah, I'll do that because it's always worked out so well. Uh, that's an eight. Woo. Nothing. Don't really feel anything. Okay. I'll look around and see. Do I see any ravens? Anything that would look out of place in outside? This town? Yeah. No. Anyone hanging around? Not in particular. Okay. Nothing. Nothing spoopy. All right. I'll head back in then. Uh, as he goes up, what what else are you talking so, about? So, yeah, no, basically, we just woke up, mm. and we haven't seen the sun in three fucking months, at least. Wow. Maybe four. Yeah. Wow. So, we were just excited to wake up and see the sun, and we didn't even realize at first that there wasn't two of them, so. Yeah. You guys should go to the, what is it, the temple? Where Baham, the temple of Bahamut that's here. It used to be a temple to Pelor, but, uh, I don't know if you know, as some odd 40 years ago, this whole fucking town was just run by demons. This place was a fucking mess. Oh, I mean, I don't really. But really ever since what is it, Tari fucking came and he turned everything into Bahamut and the dragons. It'd be really nice if there was a fucking dragon here. Then I wouldn't have to worry about this. But no, I gotta go on holiday. I have to see my silver dragon friends. Wait, wait. There's I feel like I'm unloading a lot. Uh, You're doing a lot of name dropping. <laughs> It's coming across a little a little pretentious. Oh, I'm I feel sorry. Alienated. Of Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> of the McConaughey's. No, which is uh, sorry. It's just, I'm just uh, I'm just talking out of my ass. I'm just very frustrated. Uh, okay. sorry. Just had to try and make a, a call real quick. Uh, did you say something about a, a silver dragon? Yeah, there's like a silver dragon to the north. Past the. the Past the uh, the frost irons, it's a uh, it's really weighs up. We just were at a temple for the silver dragon. Uh, for the silver dragon was, what's the name? Argenvost Holt. Argenvost? No. No, I I haven't heard of him. I'm sorry. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. It's a different dragon. I'll tell you that. Thanks, Sharp. <laughs> how how far away is it? Did you say? The what? The the frost irons? The yeah, the silver dragon. Oh, that's like at least a two month, three month journey out of here. Hmm. So we're not going there. No. And as you guys are discussing, you hear on the top of the uh, where the roof is, you hear frantic knocking. I'll be right back. And you see Fennec kind of open. Yeah. And uh, you hear this panicking. They're here. There's a, there's like a fuck ton of goblins. They're just they're just they just showed up. What the behir didn't take care? I don't I don't fucking know. So as you as you go up, you go into the center of the outside of the inn, and you see in the town square, you just see fucking madness. As you see all these little goblins just running up on different uh, buildings, start ripping people out of their their homes, and they start attacking all the the women and the different children. All right, shit. Okay, you three, you're gonna try to round up every woman and child and try to get them into the church okay any kind of goblin on the way just beat the shit out of them okay you got it all right i'm gonna have to try to find someone else and as he goes off you just see him cold cock just this goblin he just turns into mush <laughs> that's awesome okay uh while you do that you know with that we'll stop here and we'll move into the big goblin fights cool so i have to pee really bad <laughs> that Fair. uh so that was uh episode oh my god 37 37 Episode 37. I'm 37. Uh, yeah. Don't so know how we got here, but boy, what a magical journey it's been. Ah, uh, gee, you gotta get a little bit closer. A magical journey it's been. Wow. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, we're we're really close to 50 subscribers, guys. So like, really share with your friends, have them subscribe, and uh, and and get us there. So yeah, appreciate it. Love your face and uh, uh, peace, love, and gap. That one. I just like you as a friend. 
Oh. Ow. Ouch. Oh.